right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we actually don't see the uh, Ridley coming through from Reese Cooper. We're actually going to see the uh, Greninja. Oh, what the hell? Which is interesting. So this is actually, I think, kind of an interesting character development that makes sense if you know his Smash 4 lore, right? So in Smash 4, he's a very skilled Fox player from the Midwest uh, before he came here, right? And in this game, you know, Fox is decent, but not the same kind of powerhouse as he was in 4. But Greninja is basically the same character, um, just significantly better than Fox, right? So I feel like this makes sense as a secondary thing. And definitely, like, is and a lot... I definitely, I definitely agree with the uh, not going Ridley here. Yeah, like, just from a matchup perspective, like, Greninja has a way easier time kind of forcing his way in uh, than someone like any super heavy player. So, uh, definitely like this course to combat this kind of wall of projectiles that uh, Kill is going to be throwing out. Young Link definitely struggles more against these slippery characters. He's more hard to hit. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, Ridley, you, know, you can just kind of lock him down and that's a wrap. But, like, if Greninja's, like, flying around, jumping up and down, going left and right, dash attacking, like, what are you going to do about that? But that um, said, he does have the lead right Yeah, he does so have the lead. If he plays that lead intelligently, he could. Yeah, exactly. Because the thing is, so Greninja is a very good character uh, in even games, and he's a very good character when he's got the lead. But something that I feel like a lot of people don't take advantage of is the fact that he's not great when he's playing from the deficit because all of his biggest punishes come uh, from kind of like forcing mistakes and then whip punishing with that dash attack, right? Yeah. And Young Link is a character who, if he's in the lead, um, doesn't really have to press normals at all. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, he did just lose his stock, but like that doesn't seem like it's going to be making him uh, miss a beat here. So. I mean, Killer is pressing buttons, but I feel like he's just sort of winning these interactions. Yeah, and I feel like he sees that, that Rizakuma wants to take this lead back, and he's sort of yeah. just, just steamrolling. Exactly. Over that. And, um, you know, Greninja can force his way kind of into your face, but he can't force his way back into a lead. He doesn't have yeah. great tools to do that. So, that's uh, definitely the character's weakest point uh, in my opinion. see Killer Kid, you know, taking very good advantage of that fact, for sure, with a second back air one into the up smash. And that was smart because uh, Super he, saw that, uh, he saw that Risa Kuma got past this sort of wall at the edge yep. and didn't try to extend to get him back off stage. He just said, I'm going to wait. I'm in the lead. He's going to come to me. And then I'm going to hit him with something because I don't have to take any risks. Here. And he did. He hit him with the... Uh, is that a returning Lang and up smash? Yeah, that, no, that was, um, that a, like, fading away back there one into up smash. Yeah. yeah. So and that was great. So that's, that's also a confirm, right? So if you uh, if it doesn't hit Greninja, then, like, okay, you can just retreat back toward the ledge. I'm like, that's not the worst uh, situation yeah. uh, if you're fighting Greninja. That's fine. His ledge driving's not that impressive. Yeah. So that's chill. That doesn't kill. What's not chill is almost losing the stock, though. Yeah. Gonna end up getting up for free as uh, Rizkuma gives up his ledge pressure. That might have been an accident. I don't think he's meant to go on there, I'm not sure. Yeah, Killa definitely being patient. Yeah, Killa, yeah, Killa feels like, he seems like he's so comfortable like playing from the corner. I really like that from him. Yeah. He's definitely playing this method. What's that, bomb? Okay. Which he's had this entire game. Yeah. Okay, yeah, gonna trade with the fair here, gonna lose his stock, so. We have an opening here for Reese Kuma, but um, Definitely not in the driver's seat by any means, but Nair's gonna take it. That kills? So. Huh. What's up? I didn't know that kills. Yeah, no, Nair's really strong. Oh, and that was fresh. Win. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> not a lot of times you see fresh Nair, but I guess in this matchup you do. Yeah, in this matchup you're like, you're not hitting Greninja's body for the yeah. most part. You know? And that's another thing is like, Greninja can't really use like a big way that you want to force your way in against zoners in this game, and in a lot of games, right, is by blocking. Um, but Greninja can't really do that, right? Because like, if you block a Young Link projectile, as Greninja, like, what, what are you doing? You, you just know? have to take space. And then yeah. Young Link can just go over you, throw a bomb down, reset. Exactly. Time to do it again, but guess right this time. <laughs> yeah, have fun, kid. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah, another so decided. Switch. But the uh, Greninja's not going to work, so he does decide to go over to the wolf here. There's a, um, a tertiary carry. Yes, for sure. Now, I have fought his wolf. It's very good. Uh, not as scary, in my opinion, as his Ridley, but few things are. Yeah. Um, but this matchup is definitely that said, this is way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is way better than Greninja or Ridley. So I like this, and we got Persona Five music coming in as well. Yeah. Because as you're seeing right now, Wolf can just bully Young Link's buttons. Yep. He can outbutton, which Greninja cannot do. He can outbutton him. He can outcamp him, which is a rarity in this yeah. game. Um, and he can even edge guard him. In my opinion, more effectively than vice versa. Yeah. Which is another rarity. Yeah. 
That's a rarity for Wolf. That's a rarity for Wolf, yeah. Yeah. This is oh, that's not for Sonic. This is Bayonetta. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, this matchup is definitely a lot better. I feel like he should have opened with this if he had... Yeah, if he had the option of the Wolf, I'm not sure why we didn't see this come out immediately. He might have just thought that he could just rush him down, which is true. But I don't think he expected him to be put in such a big, uh, big deficit. Area. This is fair. But yeah, the Wolf is definitely a great pick. Wolf is a great pick there. Oh. Had the right counterplay there to dash back, catch the bomb with the up tilt, but a little bit too slow, gonna end up getting caught. Now he's on the ledge. See if he can get off. Oh! And he's not gonna be able to. That's unfortunate. That might have been either a flub or just a scared commitment. But he has the lead, so he no, has the reason. I, I think that was actually just him trying to go for a reason. Like, I think that was just unironically a decision. And I don't think it was a bad one at all. Well, I think it gets Killer. Killer's <laughs> been showing. Look, well, Killer's been. Like, oh, geez. Okay. Okay. But <laughs> Killer's been uh, showing really good patience this entire set. So I wouldn't bank on him over committing anything. That's fair, because the main thing that, that actually makes a lot of sense, because the main thing that that up he was going to catch was Killer either pressing a button or pulling a bomb. Yes, exactly. And in situations like that, he's shown that he's probably not going to want to do either of those things. Yeah, see, he's going back, so. throwing boomerangs, and then jumping to try to cover it with Nick. That's fair. That's not going to cover it And those, those all uh, beat, you know, up beyond the stage. So <laughs> yes. I get that. That actually makes a lot of sense. Killer showing the same patience as Ben showing, yeah, even from a sure. deficit, which can be a problem. Is, oh, but that the thing is, is that patience a lot of the time uh, is going to be a lot less effective, I feel like, against someone like Wolf, right? Because in, in this matchup, like, time is kind of a limited resource, because the longer you give Wolf to stay away from you, a lot of the time, the more chip you're going to be taking with Yeah. And, so. of course, he's not in the lead anymore, so the patience won't do him as good. Yeah, exactly. Wolf can just shoot his gun. And he's gonna have a great time. Yeah, Wolf can just hang out. Like, Wolf is Omega chilling in this matchup in this situation. Killer's gonna have to make something happen here. But it looks like Rizukuma with that up smash is looking for a kill. A little yeah, he needs a little bit more percent. There's the percent. Yeah, now up smash out of shield will take the stock if it hits. But he oh. does, he does oh. still have to catch. Yeah, right there, that was a good opportunity. But he does still have to catch um, Killer actually jumping over his shield in the first place to make that happen. Well, I'm seeing Killer Hole. Like, like that, oh. yep. There we go. I was going to say, uh, Rizukuma has been throwing out a lot of up smashes, so I'd like to see him and try to condition Killer Kid into seeing what he would do after to respond to that. But then he just hit him with an up smash anyways. No, but that I was more of a air dodge thing. Yeah, I knew that, that up smash, like, I knew that was going to hit at some point. Just because Killer, like, had shown any time that he felt kind of uncomfortable and cornered um, by, by Rizukuma's pressure. He showed that like his go-to option was never to back up. It was never to cross up roll. He always would try to like jump in air across his shield. So like Rizukuma saw that and was just like, all right, well I'm just gonna like get in his face, block. Eventually he's gonna try to go over me. And I'm gonna up smash. So like we saw that interaction happen probably five times that last stock before he finally actually punished him for it. Yeah. Um, so I'm not surprised by that happening at all. Rizukuma didn't need to change his game plan whatsoever. And uh, knowing that he's gonna stick with the same character as we go to town. So. It is so hot, dude. <laughs> like, I was saying today, like, I was like, do I want to go to a tournament today? And I was like, I, I do. But, like, it's 100 degrees. Yeah, but also, I mean, hey. the AC is apparently everywhere in this venue except for here. Oh, oh we nice. have the lights here. Why the Oh, so true, so good. Yeah. All right, but, oh, nice tech chase there. I feel like he could have actually gotten a grab right there, but the, uh, the jab was more, um, like, more forgiving as far as time was concerned. And also, if he was holding it, would actually catch um, neutral tech into spot dodge as well, which grab would lose. So, definitely good stuff there for tech chase. So this uh, stage choice, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right, killer, um, and we see Killer right here, right? He jumped over his shield again to try to get out of the corner with that nair. Got punished with an up smash. Not quite going to die, but one more will do it. We definitely need to see less of that from him if he's going to win this set. Oh. oh, wow. I mean, that was sort of a similar situation. He just double jump, yeah. go towards the middle, try to get over him. Go over him or hit him back. Yeah, like, he never tries to go back and he never tries to go through. It's always over. Nice recovery there. Fades back so that uh, Young Link can't immediately pressure him. There it is again. Yeah. Yeah. Like, every single time he feels like he like needs some space, he just tries to nair across him. Yeah. And, like, Wolf Up Smash is not very fast. It's frame 13, so it can't true punish a lot of stuff like landing on shield. But it's also really big, so if you're jumping over his shield, you're going to get hit. Yeah. 
Oh, if that was full hop, that could have actually been another one. Or that could have been uh, up throw forward air into bear. Right there. His, ter his tertiary wolf isn't his matchup. <laughs> yeah, his, his tertiary wolf's coming through right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get up a type to get around that down smash. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Oh, SD. I think you're from did, he, did he Zare by accident? Yeah, he dropped. He, he uh, dropped Zare. Yeah. Unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. And now he's in a deficit versus Wolf. Yeah, and like this is just not a situation you want to be in in this matchup. You know, like this isn't fun. It's not fun. <laughs> and you can see your Risakuma's like, yeah, sure, take your stage. I don't care. Yeah, he's like, go for it, bro. I'm pressing B. Yeah. <laughs> Nice little string here from Killer. Not quite enough to get him back into things, though, I wouldn't say. Yeah, no. Oh, this is might take it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So this is a pretty serviceable... Yeah, this like, is Like, it's a serviceably even game. Although, it's probably going to change if Rizukuma gets another hit. <laughs> because that is tough. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. This Young tough. just has so many struggles in this matchup. He gets outbuttoned in neutral, can't recover, can't get off the ledge if he does. Like, yeah. Oh, all of he had that jump there too. He that was solid. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. So that tilt. Not gonna take it. Not quite. Still gotta get off the ledge here, though. Amazing uh, choice to hold down there. But, but gonna I mean, fall out of he it. Fell out of it. So. Fell out of it and got hit. Very yeah. Important. Still gonna get punished on hit for it. So you know. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Just kick him in the back. Break that spine. And uh, all right. Cool. That was a closer yeah, set than I expected. Oh, well, not what? I mean, you thought it was going to be Ridley there. Yeah. So. But.